uh, YouTube um, doing up a bike that I got given to me by a mate that wanted it out of his shed. It was taking up too much room and he was tripping over it and that, as you can see, it was in a bit of a bad shape and he didn't have time to do much with it. So I started cleaning it up. It took me about two days just to clean all the dust and grease off it. Started masking it up and spraying it with a bit of gloss black I had left over from my last build. Shined up the motor as best I could before I started spraying it uh, aluminium silver with ceramic paint. And um, as you can see, it took a lot of masking and now I didn't want to have to strip the frame down. The motor ran all right, so it's at nearly 70,000 k's, but it's still running sort of good. So if I've got to rebuild, I'll put a 450 motor in. I'm not going to spend money. Here's the brake, brake drums. I had to go through a couple of brake, different back wheels to get the brake drum on the rear work and this is the reason why I've got this bike it's just a winter bike I can splash around on I have to spend hours polishing all the chrome and polish the aluminum and stainless every time I go on for a ride I can just jump on it not worry about it just probably clean off the fork so they don't rust up the seals and stuff like that yeah I don't have to you know, think if I missed a spot or anything like that it's just the sort of bike that you know you can leave it out in the rain all day and you, know, you won't have to worry too much. It does rain here in Australia, so a bike like this does come in handy if you've got a collection like mine. And here's the um, finish article, got it registered on the road. Um, it's got the gold wheels off a of 400. It's got the single disc, which um, yeah, I pulled one of the discs off because I didn't have the twin disc port legs. Thanks for watching and uh, click subscribe for more if you haven't already done so. Bye.